There's an estimated diaspora population of 4 million people worldwide that are of Ghanaian descent. Many are deciding to relocate to Ghana, the motherland. 2019 marks the 400th anniversary of the first enslaved Africans in America. To honour this historic occasion, the current president of Ghana, Nana Okufo-Addo, launched the Year of Return initiative, which was also aimed at encouraging predominantly African Americans to visit Ghana and invest in its growing economy. It is important that in this symbolic year, 400 years later, we commemorate their existence and their sacrifices. There's a certain feeling you get when you come off the plane and that heat licks you. Yeah, there's a feeling of just freedom. I dream about going to live in Ghana every single day. Time has sort of gone on. We said, hey, you know what? Why just two years? Why don't we realign ourselves and move to Ghana? The first time I came, I came for my grandma's funeral with my mum. And I just felt like I was home. I feel like it's always been in me to come home. It's really important for Ghanaians over here to contribute back home in Ghana because for the development of the nation, we need the skill set and the mindset that we have. I think it's good for everybody to learn about their heritage, you know, to learn where they come from, because I think to me, if you don't know where you're coming from, then where, where are you going? I'm on a personal journey of relocation to my ancestral hometown, Brekum. I want to find out how I can contribute to its development. It's high time if we want to go back home and see our countries develop. We can't sit back and watch somebody else do it for us. People go there and they're like, oh, this is not working, this is not working. Yeah, I, I complain as well, but at the, at the end of the day, when you go back, that means there's an opportunity for you to do something to change it. The computers we have for this big school, a school of about 700 people, and only these three computers. I think if we have mainly something that could attract tourists a lot, it would really have people coming here. There are a lot of things that they have to come home and help. The road network in Brekum is in deplorable state. It's time to go back and to give back, back to the motherland. <laughs>